<laughs> now why would I surrender to you, old man? I just found my first hint at secrets beating you. Oh, a hint? Yeah, a hint. I think you're bluffing. Alright. Well, why don't you call me on it? Try. Try to dodge me now! Ah, damn it! I just hit you in the face! Lucky shot. Maybe, maybe not. Now I'm going all out! You can now purchase me at 5K Toys. <laughs> Information will be down in the description box below. <laughs> I'm back here again with another comparison review on the SH Figures 1.0 Whiskey Goku, Kong Studios Whiskey Goku, and the Dragon Stars Whiskey Goku. We did get the first Whiskey Goku in 2015-2016 with the 1.0, and the sculpt is very, the sculpt and the articulation is kind of old, so it's nice to have a new update from the Kong Studios, an unofficial uh, company making a 2.0 body for the Whiskey Goku. We do have the Dragon Stars as well. They did a pretty good job in the sculpt. I really like the Dragon Stars version of the Whiskey Goku as well. Uh, if you guys are wondering where I got the Kong Studios Goku from, I did get him from 5ktoys.com. You can go check them out on their Instagram and on their website. They have a lot of cool accessories that you can purchase from them. Their service is uber and fast and great. So go check them out. All the information will be in the description box below. That way it'll make your purchasing a lot easier. So with that said, what we're going to do is take these figures off the stand, take a good look at the accessories, and then take a good look at these figures. All right, and the way we're going to do it is we're going to go through the oldest to the newest. So the first version that came out definitely was the 1.0 Whiskey Goku. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen many reviews on this guy already. I'm not going to get too much into it. He does come with the base head from the 1.0 body and multiple hands and yeah. For its time, this was pretty cool. A lot of complaints on the Super Saiyan blue hair uh, because it didn't match Vegeta. Vegeta did come out before Goku on the Super Saiyan blue. So with the Whiskey Goku Super Saiyan blue, we did get a stern face and a smirk and a yelling but no teeth grinning face. So that was a bummer. Um, but I still like the Super Saiyan blue hair sculpt and color on the original blue. I still think it's nice. Yeah. Uh, he's Even though the skirt is not really pliable, he's still able to get a good amount of kick. Well, yeah, this is very outdated, so it looks kind of weird. So it's nice to have a 2.0 to a 2.0 bootleg to cover its spot for now. But yeah, I do think that the gi is a little too dark for my taste so it's nice that Kong Studios made it a little brighter but yeah that is for the SH Figures 1.0 uh, quick articulation he does look up does look down besides side his arm does go up bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist and a swivel he does crunch somewhat um, and then he does the splits and he can kick about uh, it's not too high. What's that high? His double jointed knees, which are really good. Kind of ugly in the front. And he has a hinge and a pivot and a toe hinge. So, yeah. I mean, still great articulation by far. And, yeah, I got this guy for about 30 bucks Because uh, by, by that time it just released. So, I got him for really, really cheap. So, yeah. And, uh, I'm going into Dragon Stars. This is a 2018 event exclusive. I really like the sculpt on this guy. He looks beautiful, but the articulation sucks on him. Um, I do have the original blue head for Dragon Stars. And it just pops on right like so. So yeah, not bad of a sculpt for a $20 figure. I really like how this looks. I love the shoes. Just really well done. 
It's just when it gets to articulation, the articulation is very limited. It doesn't look up at all. It looks down a lot. It looks side to side. The arm goes about that high. He has a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. He has a hinge and a swivel. He barely has any ab crunch. You can do the splits about that much. He can kick about... Oh, man. He can't even kick up. <laughs> he has double jointed knees, which uh, acts like a single. Barely get any bend. And then he has, just, he has a, uh, just a ball peg. So articulation really lacks on this guy. He does look great, though. I have to give him that. But the articulation really sucks. And the other thing... His chest is sculpted better than the Kong Studios, which we will get into. So yeah, I'll give the Dragon Stars that. Uh, getting into Dragon Stars, he does come with a base form head, just like the 1.0. But uh, it looks very plasticky. And uh, if you switch off the faces, I tend to have a hard time putting in the original face with this head. Oh, well, now it works. Never mind. So yeah, the, the face, color of the face is not going to match the body, unfortunately. So that's kind of sad. Um, so yeah, there, there we have that. And then uh, we do have the Super Saiyan Blue head, which I do love this hair sculpt. It does look like uh, the version the, the version of when he turns into Super Saiyan Blue against Frieza. So I think that hair looks definitely like when he fights against Golden Frieza. So I love... Oh, the hair is definitely different from uh, the blue, the 2.0 blue that we got recently. So yeah, that looks pretty awesome. I mean, the face skin tone might not match completely, but that looks freaking cool. I love how the hair shines off like that. And then uh, let's put this head on. Man, I have like 10 Goku bodies. <laughs> There's so many Goku figures. So that doesn't look bad. I mean, he does look like uh, he has somewhat of a sunburn in the face. But uh, if I know somebody's going to ask me to do this, so I'm just going to do it. Put the original face on here and see how that works. Uh, that looks cool. Just he looks like he has a unibrow because his eyebrows are a lot darker. So you can kind of fudge it in. But I would stick with the original colors. It doesn't look that bad. I'm going to have to repaint the eyebrows maybe. Uh, 86 reviews. Head custom piece. I love the 86 reviews. Uh, hair piece. It's just so accurate. So I'm going to stick that in. And I'm going to stick that there. And yeah, that looks freaking cool. I love it. I love it so much. I might respray the hair lighter blue. But yeah, the 86 reviews hair sculpt. Oh my gosh. It's just killer every freaking time, man. And uh, let's try some Super Saiyan action. My uh, repainted 86 reviews uh, hair piece. That looks freaking dope. I love that. And then Fairy Customs. No, this is actually uh, 86 Reviews Super Saiyan 2 hair sculpt. And 86 just killing it in my review today. That looks freaking awesome as well. So badass. Super Saiyan 2 Whiskey Goku. Yeah. So yeah, I think I like... Uh, I really like this figure. I mean, a lot of people are saying that the chest isn't sculpted great. I mean... You can still see it somewhat, and it may not be as sharp as SH Figure Arts or uh, Dragon Stars. But the chest isn't that bad. It just looks like he's not flexing it. Well, like a relaxed Goku, because when, when Goku's relaxed in the anime with this gi, his chest ain't rip at all. So, yeah. I really liked, I really, really like this figure a lot. I've... I mean, the prototypes was magnificent. When I saw the prototypes, I was like, holy crap. But yeah, I really like this figure a lot. So getting uh, into articulation, he does look up really good. Looks down very good. Side to side. His arm goes up about that high. He has a bicep swivel. Double, uh, double jointed elbow, but only works as a single. 
Here's a swivel and a hinge. Here's an ab crunch here. Crunches back there. Uh, for him to go kick high, what I did, you don't have to do this, but I did cut a slit there so he's able to cut, uh, so he's able to kick higher. So I did cut a slit there. And uh, another thing, when you first articulate this figure, you will get some plastic uh, shreddings. All you have to do is wipe it off and you won't have them anymore. So for those of you that are bitching all over Instagram, shut the hell up and just clean it off. It'll be, you'll be fine. Yeah, so I, I did get some uh, plastic stre stress marks on the shoes too when I tried to pivot. But after I just cleaned it off with alcohol, it's completely fine. So yeah, uh, you do get some minor plastic chipping, but uh, as long as you have an alcohol wipe, you're good to go. It's, it's spank, brand spanking new. So this figure is really, really good. Uh, the double joint to knees, and then uh, it's on a ball peg, so there's a hinge, a swivel, and a toe, toe hinge as well. So for for a non-official figure, this figure is made very good. Uh, the articulation, the Articulation points are very tight and you don't have to worry about looseness um, Just when it comes to swapping heads, you are gonna see some minor differences within the skin tone So yeah, I think Kong Studios did really good and out of the three figures I say get yourself Kong Studios With all that said, I do love the Kong Studios Goku I did forget the fact that he does come with a belt that looks just like the 1.0 Goku but I love the bigger belt that he comes with, so I leave it on this figure. Hey, yeah, there's been a lot of complaints about this figure saying that it's plasticky and the chest isn't sculpted good and it just looks so cheap and shitty. And, but you know what? I think it looks great. Even though the chest isn't that uh, that detailed, it's, you can still see the chest. The articulation is great. Uh, there was minor chipping, but wipe it down with alcohol you're great it's good to go uh yeah it might be a little shiny but you can go and spray the matte finish on it i don't know i just love the 2.0 unofficial kong studio figure i see nothing wrong with it it's a good standby till we get official 2.0 hopefully in the future but i think it just i think it looks great aesthetically very pleasing the arms are very are sculpted very good very muscular um yeah, I just love the way it looks. It's very vibrant. I love the orange that they chose. Very vibrant orange. It isn't dark like the 1.0 SH figure arts. Um, and the blues are nice. This, if he didn't, if he did not get this figure, in, get it. It's a good stand, standby till you get the official 2.0 whiskey if there is ever going to be one. But yeah, get the figure. You can now purchase it at 5ktoys.com. Go to their Instagram. Their website is on their Instagram. Click on it, order it. You get it within two to three days. It's from New York. Super uber fast. So yeah, I'm sorry that it took so long to put this review together. I just been going to the doctors and I've just been busy and trying to recuperate from the COVID still. The COVID really messed my lungs up. So yeah, I'm really sorry that I have been delaying with uh, the reviews. I do have a bunch of stuff to review, which is already old. So. Hopefully my stop motions and other things I do entertain you guys enough. I know you guys seen a lot of reviews with other channels, but hopefully what I do for my videos entertains you to the point where it's okay to watch a, a review again of another figure that you just saw from somebody else's channel. So I really appreciate those who have been showing support, showing love, writing to me. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment below. The, uh, comment below. If you haven't had, had the time to check me out on Kenny Boys Toys with a Z in the middle, I'm always on Instagram, so follow me there. And if not like this video or subscribe to my channel yet, I suggest you do because I'm always posting up cool content like these. I will be putting up the accessories video later this weekend, so stay tuned. And I want to thank you guys for watching, guys, and have a great day.